Right, well, cheers for having us out the last couple of days anyway, Luke. That's all right. It's been nice to see, uh, see you cracking on. Should I do that again? <laughs> yeah, do that again. <laughs> I thought I was going up, but I won't. I'll let uh, you shove this over here now. Uh, <laughs> I thought. I wouldn't have went again then, too fair for a minute. Hit me all along. I only do it once. <laughs> My granddad said that to me years ago, you'll only fall off once. Uh, have you fallen off yet? Uh, I've had a couple of coach shaves. But nothing actually, right? No, I know okay. they went for well, a roof a few I'm years gonna ago. I'm going to get out as soon as possible then. <laughs> today's the day. No, it won't go today. Right, Luke, well, we're out with you boys today. We've also been out a couple of days ago to see you on the digestate job. But today, uh, you're flat out on the grass, uh, which is the first, well, you're one of the first boys around here to be on the grass anyway. Uh, just tell us a bit about yourselves. Where are you and well, what is it you boys do most of the time? So we're, we're Graham Robinson Limited. Um, we mainly do tanking and digestate. Um, we run five tankers out of uh, various digesters for either food waste or like a cow digester. Right. Um, and we run a 970 uh, Jaguar as well through the, for the digesters, farms and various other things really. Is this the first, well this is the first grass job that you've been on this time? Yeah, is this yeah. is the first grass job which um, so we laid grass after maize last season. Right. Um, and obviously, it's one cut before we return it back to uh, maize again for this season to, for digest eight plants. So you're running the 970 Jag today. What tractors have you got on trailers? Um, we've got a 6495. She's on a Richard Western. Proper powerhouse. Yeah, pro <laughs> proper buzz. Proper you, had, you had that on the reeler yesterday. Uh, yeah, we have it, have it on the reeler. Yeah. We have a light duty to try and look after her because she is an old girl. Um, we have got a 3230, a blue one, which you've seen on the tanker. Um, He's running an 18 ton size trailer as well. She does sound good to be fair. That yeah, day. she sings well, she <laughs> sings well. Um, yeah, and then we've got a couple of Valtras, a couple of Fergies, yeah. and then the T7 260. She's on the uh, on the clamp. This is your tractor, is it? Yeah, this is my tractor. Because you had this tractor on the dribble bar as well. Yeah, so we try and keep to our own tractors, just the amount of hours we do. Yeah. We like to keep them pretty much every, same track, same drive, and then you know where you are with them. Yeah, yeah. And you're pit man? Uh, yeah, so I've always, <laughs> so the, Sean who's on the chopper, he's, uh, he was the pit man, but he's retired off of it. He's done it for too long, and I was the second pot rate man. <laughs> and now he's uh, giving me the nice chore of doing this job. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about the digestate then, the dribble bar that you had out yesterday. Tell us a bit about that. Uh, so we've got a 24 meter dribble bar, um, we've had that because we've had a lot of, there's not many people around our area that uh, run the 24s so we had it so we can um, go over wheat ground barley and that and to be fair it's taken off quite well to be, like we've done a fair bit of work we're averaging like a thousand cube out of it a day depending on how far and what fields we've got to do it can be a bit of a nightmare in a 
I can it's four or five acre, but yeah. getting a nice big one, it's it's pretty steady you, going. You're really. winning. <laughs> yeah. So you had a few out on the road as well. What tankers are you running for the road job? So we've got a tanker that was an articulated one, which we've had made into a, a tri-axle um, lorry tanker. Um, we've got two Red Rocks, a 4,000 and a four and a half. Uh, an art high spec, which that's mainly a field tanker really, that's what we use. We've got Connor and uh, various other ones really, just as what we've found at yeah. the time as needing another one. And it was mainly red machines on the tankers yesterday? Yeah, so we run two uh, ATSs, two, uh, well, the ATS 225s, we right. run both of them. We've got Do you a, like those tractors or? They're all right for what they are, yeah. yeah. They're, the, like our tractors are doing that many hours they have put a few hours on now and right. about ready to be swapped in but yeah. no for what they are and what they do they are the machine for it really you look from the digester what's the journey normally like is it a fair it's a fair uh, run there? we try and keep it within a certain mile radius we don't go any further than sort of eight mile with it that's that a push um but we've got a fair lot of ground around that people use it and the, they enjoy using it because it's cheap fertilizer. Yeah, they haven't got yeah. to have a separate machine to do it. They can we go and we spread it, and it's applicated on at the right amount because we've all got the flow meters on, like what I've got in here now. So yeah, it all gets applicated to. I like it. the nearest tank as well. Yeah, the nearest tank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we needed something pretty quick, and that's just the idea. It's not massive. You can go and park it. It holds 40 ton. It's just, theory, yeah, yeah <laughs> it's not a lot, but when half what we were running the other day, we were keeping up with everything. Mm -hmm. It's just the ideal size. But you got your weights on the back today. You had them on the front yesterday. Yeah, well, that, it looks a fair weight that 24 meter. Yeah, she's heavy. She's yeah. a bit too heavy, really. You're telling me she was off a was it Holmer? Was it you said? Yeah. So yeah. before we uh, had her, she was on a Holmer. Um, at Preston's contracting, they're on that. Right. Um, and obviously, because we were getting busier and busier with the slurry spreading job, and it was quicker and easier for us to go to some jobs of his as well, spread slurry. Um, so it come that it was a good idea to then make a bracket convert there goes the it. Mug. <laughs> well, we better not break that one. There goes the mug. Farrells. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Um, that's a sign it's getting steep. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's a sign that's of failure now. That's a sign we're getting higher now. Oh, the sky's dear. the limit, I've been told. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, it come off a homer, been converted back to a tractor one. And uh, yeah, she's a, she's a good bird of kit. So, uh, how many acres of grass are you lifting today then, Luke? Uh, it's about, so we've got at this place of our own, there's about 110 acres right um then another farm we go to we're only chopping 40 acres but that's uh, grass going into maize so obviously he wants that off so he can start his maize uh, maize job yeah um yeah so what do you think of the old 970 then good machine or um yeah we had it in the back end of last year for we finished grass off and to do the maize harvest which runs sweet as a nut really mm. just need a uh, you need like, some fair power on the clamp to keep up with it sometimes, it can be uh, a So that's tedious. why you've got the, the T7 heaven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you've got to have the T7 <laughs> just to push the grass up. Uh, we did used to operate with the 215, but as uh, Sean's coming off, uh, I don't fancy swapping tractors all the time. Nah. What about the book rake? What book rake are you using? Uh, an Albert, 10 foot. Um, she's all right, she's just a bit heavy. Yeah. Um, take some handling. You're glad you've got your weights on the back, is what you're saying. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm able to move without that. I was uh, going to fill my tyres up with water, but I uh, changed that idea yeah. pretty quickly because it uh, worked out I've got to take it out after. <laughs> I don't fancy that. No. What about the rake? Uh, what, what rake are you running? Uh, we run a Crone. Um, this is like the sort of first season we've ran the crone because we've obviously upgraded the chopper we've had a big bigger chopper so uh yeah we've upgraded the rake um and yeah gray and the uh, boy well gray and the man who goes on it he he loves it really enjoys his raking so this time of year a few boys aren't flat out on digestate you're on this job 
So the digest eight job. Tanking, is it, yeah, the digest eight jobs all year round, seven days a week or six days a week, depending on how much stuff they can get out of the digesters. Wow. Um, and yeah, so we're, it's that time, like this time of year, we're doing that, busy with that, bit of grass, and we uh, we drill maize under plastic um, for a bloke uh, up in Nottingham. Um, so one of the other lads on the ATS, he's gone. That's where he is today. He's drilling that, and then after we've got this ground, this stuff off, we can start with our open drill maze in the next couple of weeks. Well, I'll start getting ready for it, sort of thing. So is most of your chopping work close to home then, or do you um, travel far? So. Yeah, the grass jobs for the farmers are very close to home. Yeah. Probably the furthest we'll go is where we were putting the digest state on the other day. Right. Um, but we do, when we come to the maize harvest and stuff like that, we do tend to travel a bit further. We'll go Peterborough and yeah, yeah. we'll go a fair bit further because we run with a, a bigger contractor as well. Right, well, cheers for having us out the last couple of days anyway, Luke. Yeah, it's been good to see you uh, cracking on with it. Um, we'll have to try and come out and see you again at some point. Yeah. But we'll let you crack on now, do a bit more. Yeah, and no, che fun. Cheers again. That's no, fun. <laughs>